Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT. In this video we will show you everything you need to know about the Lenovo Legion 5 with Intel. The Legion 5 has almost everything you need in a mid-range gaming laptop. This includes an Intel i7 hexa-core CPU, Nvidia GTX 1660 Ti graphics and a 256GB SSD. All for around a $1000 USD mark. Check for updated prices in the description below. This 15 inch laptop is built with what Lenovo calls phantom black plastic and on the inside the plastic is rubberized which makes it more comfortable to use. The build quality is good and there is no sharp corners or edges. Lenovo says the starting weight is around 2.3 kilos or 5 pounds and mine was the same. When you add in the brick and cables it was around 3.2 kilos or 7 pounds. In terms of the size, it's pretty average for a gaming laptop at this price point. It's not super thin, but it's not massive either. The display is a 15.6 inch 1080p, however, be careful when you buy, as my model didn't include the 144Hz display, rather only a 60Hz display. It's not all bad, as when I plug it into an external monitor, I can get 144Hz, but it's just something to be aware of. In the Legion Edge software you have the option of disabling hybrid mode, which will give you a performance boost in games at the expense of battery life. Backlight bleed on my display was fine and I didn't notice it at all. Across the top you have a 720p camera with a privacy shutter. The camera itself is pretty blurry and you can see it's slow to respond when I move my hand. My keyboard looks pretty cool and it came with a single zone of backlight along with many other RGB colours over four zones. Typing on the keyboard was fine, however I'm used to a desktop keyboard and I found some of the keys in a slightly different position to what I'm used to. The function and Q keys allow you to cycle through performance modes and the power button changes colour to reflect the performance mode you are in. It's a really cool feature. The trackpad was fine, sometimes I misclick and it does pick up fingerprints, but it seems to clean okay. The lid is designed well and you can open it up with one finger and it folds all the way back 180 degrees. The keyboard flex was great, I didn't find much flex at all. There was more flex on the display, but I didn't find it annoying. On the left hand side you have an air vent, along with a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and an audio jack. On the right side you have a power light, Novo button, USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and another air vent. On the back you have a gigabit ethernet port, USB 3.1 display port, two USB 3.1 ports, a HDMI, a power connector and a Kensington lock. And these are all nicely displayed on the top. On the bottom of the laptop you have two big air vents which push the hot air away from the CPU and GPU. And on both sides you have two 2 watt speakers. Let's test how good they are. So they are a little bit tinny, definitely not as good as the M1 MacBook review I did and I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that video. Let's test it out with Heaven Benchmark and the laptop is in performance mode. While that's running, I will try and give you an idea of how loud the fans get. Thank you. 
Heaven benchmark result, frames per second, was 147, with a score of 3,718. A minimum frames per second of 39, and a maximum was 296. If I put PUBG in ultra settings, I was getting around about 88 to 101 frames per second, which is a pretty good result. Doing the same thing with Fortnite, and putting it into epic settings, I was able to get around about 100 frames per second. It did drop down to 45, but it was only temporary. In terms of heat, the keyboard does seem to heat up quite a lot, to around about 50 degrees, but not around the WASD keys, which is nice design. This means that your hand should not get uncomfortable when gaming. Viewing angles on the display were very good. Take a look. We are fulfilling a two month contract with the US military. Captain Jacobs will fill you in on a lot of the changes that are going on around here. Your safety. We will be upgrading the site soon. So would I recommend the Legion 5? Yeah, I would. I think it's a great laptop. The only concern that you might have is to make sure you get the right screen with the 144Hz refresh rate. It makes a big difference. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to clean a GPU in 2021. And do me a favour, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.